after seeing the, the game in October 2009, uh, we figured out it was, uh, it was going to be a good opportunity to enhance the PC player experience with realistic effects and simulations. I can't say I've ever experienced quite such an open-ended, convincing, immersive sandbox game. We had been experimenting with some simulations on, on water, ocean simulations, and we thought that we could add an extra notch on the looks of the game. The water is composed of two components. One component gives the water a convincing large-scale swell that moves boats and causes the character to bob around when he's swimming in the water. The water is much more real with more specular highlights, and it reacts as it should with the boats and Rico swimming. We also added a wind-driven ripple effect that adds that last level of convincing detail that makes it look really special. Also, we saw that the game uses uh, depth of field effects quite a bit, so we thought we could add some nicer looks to it to make it more film-like. What we've worked on mainly is bokeh filters. Bokeh is the name for blur in Japanese. When there is a very blurred background, you see the light sources. Usually you see like a very defined shape, which is usually circular or pentagonal, depending on what is the iris, the aperture of the camera. So we mimic that effect. We're all familiar with the sharp shadows you get if you put a small light in a room and stand in front of it. You'll get sharp shadows cast by that light. If you put a big light in a room, so we're talking a light the size of a wall, you'll notice you'll start to get softening in those shadows. And if you take that even further and think of light coming from all around, what you get is really soft little blobby shadows under everything. And what ambient occlusion does is it calculates those soft shadows dynamically in real time in order to show that objects are grounded and convincingly part of the world for each pixel in the image, we're tracing rays out to find out how occluded that pixel is. What we can do with the GPU is we can use the massively parallel power of the GPU that's able to trace many, many rays at the same time. The first thing you realise when you play Just Cause 2 is that this is already a really immersive game. So this is a great candidate for us being able to add a little bit extra with the 3D vision support. We've been able to give Just Cause 2 a stereo rating of 3D vision ready which not many games achieve. That means you get a really special experience when you play Just Cause 2 with a 3D vision rig. A game is a real-time entity, so we're doing stuff in a 60th of a second, for instance, that a movie has the luxury of any time they like to render a frame. They can fill a room with computers to do that. The main purpose is to make the looks of the game more close to reality and give the player a more immersive experience. It's, it's really a beautiful experience. <laughs>